Everybody and welcome back to our Back to Basics series here on Farming Simulator 19. Today we're going to talk about contracts and how they are a really great resource to earn a few extra bucks while you're waiting for your virtual crops to grow. So where we are, we are down here at a railroad silo and we've got ourselves what looks like some milk pallets. Milk jugs in containers on pallets. And we are currently satisfying a transportation contract, which is one of the contract types here available in Farm Sim 19. So the way we get to our contracts is we go to our escape menu by literally hitting the escape button. And then we go to this center tab, which looks like a stack of papers. That is the contracts tab. Here, here we have an active transportation contract. It says we need to transport items from Railroad Southwest to Farmer Hans, okay? So if we look at our map, might be a little hard to see. Let's get rid of the words. So we have this dot here, this yellow dot, green, orange dot. It's not yellow, but well, it is, it's either yellow or green or I don't know. It's that color. So that dot represents the pickup location. And then we have a red dot that represents the delivery location for this particular contract. So all we need to do is all our tractor down here. Now I've got our Fent favorite tractor here. Got some stole front loader arms that I bought. Got front loader forks that I bought, or technically at least both of those. And I've got this flatbed trailer that I leased. So this trailer, is here under trailers. It's the very first brought them in trailer. And this thing can be either configured to hold 4,000 liters, 8,000 liters, 12,000 liters, or you can turn it into a flatbed, basically bale trailer. It is a very nice trailer for a starting farmer to have because you can go from hauling 12,000 liters of grain per trip to hauling bales or pallets very, very quickly very, very efficient and effective. And it's only $8,000 in the bail wagon format. An additional $4,000, you can get it basically with a tarp. and It'll hold 12,000 liters. And once you pay to have this, um, then basically you can cycle between the two without ad any additional cost once you've basically purchased the upgrade. Go ahead and I'm gonna drive to our final destination. We'll unload these pallets. And while we are on our way to our destination, let's talk about some of the other types of contracts that are available here in Farming Simulator 19. So as we have already seen in other Back to Basics videos, uh, we, there are plowing functions there are plowing contracts, there are cultivation contracts, we have fertilizing contracts, we have seeding contracts, we have harvesting contracts, we even have mowing and baling contracts. So in the order that I would say the contracts are as far as time the money earned, I would say that fertilizing contracts are number one. If you can get a fertilizing contract, do it. Guaranteed to make you a lot of money with pretty little effort involved. Up next, I would say would be any grain harvesting contract. They will pay out pretty darn good and you get to keep some of the grain that's left over. Let's disconnect trailer. Let's unstrap our pallets. So to unstrap, we come up here and we basically hit R, remove these orange straps. Basically hold our pallet down. As I was saying about 
harvesting contracts is once we satisfy the contract, any leftover grain we get to keep or we can sell it. In fact, we're going to do a harvest contract here in this video so we can kind of demonstrate it. We see the hashed area. I guess you have to then unload our pallets in this hashed area. Now we've dropped one. Go to our contracts. You're going to see that we are one third complete. Sometimes using these forks can be a bit cumbersome. Two thirds complete as we would expect. Not really lined up well on this one, so we're just going to one. I want to fork it. Drop it off. And you see up there in the upper right, it says transport finished. Go here, we can hit collect. We are now $1,243 richer as a result. The pallets are not gone. The zone markers are now gone also. So that is transportation contracts. Let's take a look at some of these other contracts. So we have a whole bunch of harvesting contracts available on this map currently, and we have a bunch of fertilizing contracts available currently on this map. Take a look. We already talked a little bit about how lucrative the fertilizing contracts are. So let's take a look at that. Field 26 is this little field right here. Right up here. This field right in front of us, fairly small field. We can see both edges. It goes up to the rocks. This little field right here is going to pay us $2,121 to fertilize. Now we can use either our own equipment if we have it, or we can basically borrow a farmer's equipment. And if we borrow the farmer's equipment, this is what we are going to be issued. So it says we want to, he wants us to fertilize field 26 with any type of fertilizer. So we've already talked in a previous video about the different types of fertilizer. We have liquid fertilizer, the spray. We have solid fertilizer in the white granules. We have slurry or liquid manure or digestate. Then we have manure, solid manure. So any of those fertilizer types can be used on the field. And if we use his equipment, then our total payout will be reduced by $303. The only catch is we have to use, we have to buy our own fertilizer. So for this little field, not that advantageous if we have to borrow his equipment because of the payout is pretty much going to be what we're going to have to spend to get a pallet of fertilizer. We already had fertilizer on hand. We could borrow his equipment and use our fertilizer, which we've already paid for, then that would work. Let's take a look at one that maybe is a little bit more lucrative. Take a look at this one here. Field 14, $7,105. So if we use his equipment, it's going to be 1,015 reduced. So let's borrow these items. We just say borrow. Police machines are waiting for you at the shop. Remember, you have to fill the tools if needed. Jump down here to the shop. Here is the equipment that we get to use. We have a Case IH Puma, Breedall Spreader, and a weight. Don't worry about this line. This is left over from a previous video. Now, what we have to do is we have to fill this with 
fertilizer that we have to buy on our own. That's okay, because we will basically get it back later. The unused portion. Let's get two bags of fertilizer. Spending $4,000 close to it on fertilizer. It's okay. It's going to come out ahead. You don't have to use the weight if you don't want to. I think I'm going to go ahead and use the weight. Fertilizer is pretty heavy. Minimap. Field 14 is up here. Get on up there. Now, typically you can't work someone else's field because you don't own it, but there are temporary um, provisions allowed if you have an active contract on a field. Uh, if you don't have an active contract on the field, going to get a very interesting message. Let me show you what you get. Not coming up. Typically you'll get a message about not being able to work on the field. At any rate, here's our field. Remember, He's going to pay us 7105 minus a thousand and some dollars. Basically, so we're down to six, let's say six thousand dollars. We spent about two thousand dollars on our fertilizer at this point. That should put us still up about four thousand dollars. Let's go ahead and finish this field out and we'll see where we come up. Like we demonstrated when we did our own fertilizing video, you know what's being fertilized by the what's being made darker, and we only need to fertilize about 95% of this field. So don't worry about miss missing parts. Okay, it's all about time. The less time you put into this, and the more time you'll be able to do another contract. What I typically do on these types of contracts is I outline the field and then I start just filling it in. Let me go ahead and get that done uh, because I also want to show you a bit of a harvesting contract also in this video. So when I come back, we'll be just about done with this contract. All right, I wanted to bring you back real quick because what I wanted to show you was that we have basically just outlined the field and made one little pass And if we look at our contract progress, we're already at 55%. And all we did was outline the field and we made two more passes up and down the field. Now we've used 1,500 liters of our 2,000 liters of fertilizer. So we should have a decent little amount of fertilizer left. See, I'm not really worried about missing areas. Miss that whole little area up there. I missed some little patches here and there. Don't want to overlap. Don't want to fertilize the same ground. That's wasting fertilizer. Remember, I paid for this fertilizer, not him. I want to use as little as I can in order to complete the progress. We are at 69%. When we come back, I'll be right around 98, hopefully 95%, and we'll be able to see contract complete. All right, so we are at 94%. 5%. Got just one little strip left to do. Got 1,100 liters, so it looks like we possibly 
could have gotten by with just one pallet of fertilizer. Seven percent. So keep an eye up there in the upper right, right below the money amount. We want to put no more than we have to on this field. As soon as we see that pop up, we want to turn this fertilized spreader off. Okay, so turn the fertilized spreader off because we see contract on field 14 finished. Go. So 7,105 minus our leasing costs. We're actually being reimbursed $1,655. For the fertilizer we actually put on the field. Interesting. So we're going to get $7,745 in cash. Collect. Now, oh shoot. Just did what you shouldn't do. So you saw we got $7,745. Our tractor immediately vanished because it was his tractor. Also means is the fertilizer that was left in that trailer vanished immediately also. Yeah, I didn't want to do that. But what I really wanted to do is I wanted to take this tractor back to my farm right over there. And I wanted to hit the I button, unload the unused fertilizer onto the ground. Then I wanted to complete the contract because then I would have that fertilizer that I already bought to use on another field. That's not what you want to do. Made a mistake. Kind of handy, I made the mistake teaching you guys what not to do but doing it. So let's look at another contract. Let's look at a harvesting contract. Let's look at a nice harvesting contract. Okay. Now, we'll give you a little bit of information. You may see at some time pop up a potato harvest contract with a pull behind potato harvester. You may see a contract with this is a pull behind potato harvester. Please, please do not fall victim. I know the money is really good, but the time involved is a lot. And in my opinion, it's not worth the time involvement. Boy, does that money look really lucrative. It really does. So let's pick this one, Field 8. Take a look and see how big Field 8 is. Field 8 is way over here. That's kind of a far, far drive for something a little closer. Field 26, 2, who's up here on the hill, Eight. All right, well, let's just do field eight. What we're going to do is we're going to take this. And we're going to borrow items. What we're going to get is we're going to get this harvester, this header, this tractor, and this trailer. We're going to have to sell, we're going to have to harvest his corn and take it to the grain elevator east. We use his equipment. Basically, our reward will be reduced by $670. Borrow. Do that all the time as I hit escape when I shouldn't be. So this is where we need to take the, the corn. And this is where the corn we need to harvest is located. Go ahead and this process started. So something else that is rather useful with contracts, and I'm not really sure if I've mentioned this already, Let's be honest, this is my second take at this contract video. Another useful aspect about contracts is it lets you try out equipment that you may not typically use. So as a starting farmer, you might not be able to afford this type of a harvester. 
but now doing this harvest contract you'll be able to experience basically using this harvester and at some point in time when you are ready to basically buy your own harvester you'll maybe have a good idea and you won't just be kind of guessing as to which one you should pick so we can use any combination of our equipment or their equipment on these contracts so if we wanted to we could use his harvester and his horn header and then we could use our tractor and our trailer to basically haul the grain if we wanted to this particular video we're going to use all of his equipment and what i'm hoping for is at the end of the day when we have harvested his grain we're going to see up there in the upper right basically as we are selling all of the grain we're going to see contract fulfilled contract complete and we're going to have some amount of grain left over that grain we can either keep or we can sell or we can use depending on if basically we have uh, have a need for it we're going to talk a little bit about animals in our 200 level videos but for example let's say we have pigs pigs require corn but we don't maybe have corn planted we didn't plan this out well enough well we could get some corn by basically harvesting another guy's crop and basically keeping the corn that he doesn't need anymore because he completes our contract uh, for a use. So I'm going to hire that helper off. Jump back here. Get into this tractor. Hook up this trailer and head on down there. And what we're going to do is I'm going to cut the video here. I'm going to come back as we are finishing up that field or selling our first load of grain, whichever is first. I do want to uh, try to keep these videos a little short. I know this one is running a bit long, um, but I did want to demonstrate a couple different types of contracts because some of them are a little unique. And I wanted to demonstrate keeping fertilizer I sorely didn't do, but at any rate, be in a few minutes. And so we are almost done harvesting this field on contract. Take a look at our contracts. You'll see that we are at 82%. Uh, of course, all we have to do is harvest this field of corn and take the product to the grain elevator east. Now, we haven't hauled any grain off yet, so we've got 30,000 liters of grain in the trailer. And we should have plenty of room left to basically finish this field's harvest. Then take one trip with the grain down to the cell point. Now, we could be in a scenario where if we had to haul multiple loads that we would still have crop on the field and have gotten the contract complete message. If that's the case, don't finish the contract. Because if you do, the unharvested crop goes away. If you get that message or all of the crop is harvested, then everything that's left in the trailer and everything that's left in the field and anything that's left in the harvester is yours. Don't complete the contract because you're going to lose it. Make sure you either sell it or put it in your own trailer or put it in your silo before you complete out the contract.
we don't need to haul that back to the shop. We're just going to leave it here. Pull up the mini-map. You see we've got to basically make our way around the other side of the map. We've got 35,000 liters of corn. We are at 84% complete. But what I'm really interested in seeing is how much crop is going to be left when we get that contract complete message. Basically, that is then going to tell me how much profit we make over and above what the contract is going to pay. Just going to fast forward this all the way to the sell point and uh, then we'll see what we get. So that is something else you need to be very, very careful of on these harvest contracts. And that is that you actually take the grain to the location you're supposed to. I was thinking it was at the dock, but uh, clearly it was not. Very glad that I pulled up the little mini-map. So now we are $19,609. We're at 84% complete. This contract is going to pay us $4,253 payout minus whatever the fee was for borrowing the equipment. Now we're unloading the grain. Notice our money is not going up. Stop. We are at 90%. So the amount we are satisfying the contract is going up. See also up there a percentage, 30% and 57% transported. So if we made multiple trips, we would, oh, look. Contract on field eight is finished. We've got $2,500 of harvest income from the excess that we sold before we stopped. We've got an additional $6,169 left in the trailer. We're not completing the contract yet. As we are in leased equipment, the corn. Best price to sell corn is at the port northwest. That is way up here. I'm not going to bother with that. We're just going to go ahead and dump here. We got an additional $4,463. Plus the 2000 that we earned or we stopped it plus the $3,500 we're going to get by collecting on the contract. So that was a very profitable harvesting contract because one, we got $3,500 from the contract itself. We got over $6,000 by selling the excess crop after we had satisfied the contract. So in the end, we are about $9,000 up, maybe even $10,000 up, uh, if we factor in, you know, rounding and everything, about $10,000 up from where we were before. Or more specifically, 11,000, because I think we were at 19,000 something when we pulled in here, now we are at 30,000. So that is why contracts can be very, very lucrative. Especially for a farmer that is low on cash and happens to have the time to put into contracts. Let me know in the comments. 
What are your favorite types of contracts? Do you have a favorite type other than fertilizer? Let me know. And until next time, happy farming. Be sure to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell.